Hello again, this is Jeremy Arts, Product Manager for Maguire Vehicle Restraints and IDOT Controls. In this video, I'm going to talk about three things you might not have known about vehicle restraints. Okay, so let's get right into it here. The first one we're going to talk about is that the industry standard is 32,000 pounds of restraining force for a vehicle restraint. What does that mean? That means that across the industry, 32,000 pounds is generally the amount of force that a vehicle restraint will hold a tractor trailer at the dock for, okay? Um, this is going to restrain virtually any tractor trailer out there uh, and keep them safely at the dock for loading and unloading. So the industry standard is 32,000 pounds of restraining force. There are some out there, you might see some that say 35,000 or maybe even 40,000, but generally the industry standard is 32,000 pounds and, you know, We'll, we test ours in excess of 32,000 pounds, but we still say 32,000 because that's the industry standard. So, uh, and that's that's really all you need. So um, that's the first one. You may not have known that, or you may have heard people talking about 35 or 40, but the industry standard is 32,000. Installation requirements. Okay, that's the next one. Make sure when you're trying to figure out the best vehicle restraint for your docks, make sure you're taking into account uh, where the concrete is. Okay, and what kind of restraint you're looking at. So you have to consider uh, what kind of restraint you need for uh, what kind of trailers you're restraining, the needs you have for, for your loading dock as far as restraints go, but you also have to require, uh, you have to consider um, where the concrete is because typically a, uh, a trailer position rotating hook like these down here are best mounted on the dock face, uh, but there has to be solid concrete, poured concrete, usually at least eight inches, okay? And this is true for, you know, rotating hooks generally across the board in the in the entire industry. OK, uh, now, is it possible to mount these a different way? It is, but that it just can increase your costs and it can increase uh, just the time it takes to install and, and things like that. So if you want to consider installation in your final decision, um, you might want to talk about uh, if you're, if the concrete is not, if your dock face is maybe made of brick or, or concrete block or something, it's not poured concrete, but your drive approach is, you might want to consider a restraint, um, maybe like a, a vertical barrier restraint, like the stop tight that can be mounted in the dock face or on the drive. Okay. So you might just, you just want to consider these things. And the other one I want to talk about is the intermodal container trailers. If you get a lot of these intermodal container trailers at your docks, uh, you might want to consider, and I, I, I would consider definitely talking about that with your uh, distributor because if you get a lot of intermodal container trailers, they're uh, most rotating hook restraints, the, like this, these kinds down here. Uh, these are rotating hooks. Uh, most of these types of restraints cannot safely restrain trailers that have cover plates on their rear impact guards. So they're intermodal container trailers, is what we're talking about, okay? Uh, but you do want to talk about that because there are some out there that do. Some rotating hooks are designed to restrain those kinds of trailers. And Unilock is one of those. Okay, so definitely ask those questions. Uh, it's it's important for your docs. You need to know um, some of this stuff going in. It just makes it easier for you to make your decision. So um, these are three things you might not have known about restraints, but now you do. So keep keep coming back for more information. We're going to keep providing it. Just want to help you make the best decision for your docs. So until next time, please stay safe.